Hello YouTube and welcome to my networking videos. Today I'm going to show you my networking switch. And this is a managed switch that I bought from Staples and it's been very useful and that it gives me many options that you will get in a you know Cisco Catalyst Enterprise Switch per se. Not all of the options but some of the options. So let's begin. I'm I'm logged in running I'm running the console administration here and I get to give it a name System location, system content, uh, IP configuration. This is where I put it, put in what IP I want it to have, and uh, what VLAN I want it to be in. Under time, I set it to what, what, what what's the time on the that I want it to be on the actual switch. Denial of servers. I should enable this. I don't know why I have disabled. But this is good if to protect when you have servers and things that um, you want to watch your network for. And I'm gonna give you an explanation of what it is. And it says the other denial of service feature simply enables all the DOS or in the system, the feature is disabled by this probe. When an attack is detected, a warning message is logged to the buffer log and sent to the syslog server. The attempt is that port is shut down and can be enabled only by the admin user. So, very nice to have. So, I'm going to apply this. And if you want to get more de technical, you, um, you can set different options here and if you don't it has a very useful helpful system to you what everything is I'm not going to go into too detail on this because um, because of the YouTube you know time constraints so I'm going to go pretty uh, quick on that but if you have any questions feel free to comment below DNS I set it to my DNS server and I believe here you put what's the host name for the switch you just hit type in what it is and you hit apply for any of these options that you want to set for the green ethernet configuration what it is is basically If you have a short cable that says t uh, 10 meters less, then then it'll have it'll reduce the power consumption on the port. Moving it, moving along. If I click on device view, it's going to show me. Now, how my dial works on this uh, browser because I think I forgot to install sorry but what it would normally show is it would show an animated logo an animated, the animated switch and what ports are active SNMP uh, we click on here and what it is is uh, if you're doing like what they call communities, um, which is, if you want, it's an old method of, um, I guess, classifying your network. Um, I, I haven't really used CMP in my job areas, but I'm sure it has its uses. And there's all kinds of options you can set. There's even version th three for it, SNMP. And then let's go on to LLDP. -L 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 okay. 
okay, it's what it is is basically uh, I think the LLDB simple is logical link data port frames. to the advanced tab. And you can separate it by by sort by port. And so on for services. Uh DHCP filtering what this will do is it's basically when I use it on my network, it just blocks the HTTP server. And the when the time we call it, we needs it, the HTTP won't get it to it. So if you're using the HTTP on the uh, switch, then and you have a bunch of clients, I wouldn't. We can turn this on unless you have servers with static IPs then and that's all you have on it and then that then, then maybe this may be a good choice for you. Okay, so we're gonna go into switching. Here I have a status of my ports activity and I have the I can change the the speed on each port. So let's say I want to change the speed to G2. I can go in here and say, okay, port speed. I want let's say 100 megabits, and I want to reduce that frame. Uh, the reason I have it to the highest because I want to be able to use jump, what's called jumbo frames. Because sometimes I try a lot of data on my network, you know, transferring files from it, from client to, to server and from, um, from server to server. So I want to make sure that this is at a high number, so I'm able to get the best throughput on my switch. Uh, and there's many other options like LID. You can enable what's called logical. Um, no, excuse me, link aggression, aggression, which I tried it. It's very confusing to, to 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 set up because basically what you're doing is you you're trying to set up the switch in a certain way so that you have some redundancy on a uplink port, as an example, on the thread, so that if one of your uplinks go down, the other one picks up the slack. And but you have to have to really see this happen. You have to have a smart switch that can support this, unless I'm mistaken. Next, we have VLAN. I personally don't use this um, for the simple reason is. Um, I, ha I have somewhat of a simple routing system here and everything has one VLAN and you know if the internet goes down then I only have to you know take a look at one VLAN and if I'm running a complex network then sure I would create multiple VLAN but I was but I'll keep in mind that each VLAN each VLAN would need to have excuse me its own uh, gateway so you can really uh, divide up the network and really take good, good control of it. Next, we have the VLAN memory chips. Show you that. Span this up. Moving to voice VLAN. Um, I'm used to, I just turn this on for experiment. I haven't seen any uh, Increasing performance, but it isn't about 
is in performance really, but this is about uh, if you have a, a voice and a, a voice beer, like a data, I mean like a, like a like a Skype phone, for example, it can be a voice VLAN device. So, so that, that's, that's what that does. And there's, with all these menus, it's always advanced, and you can really customize it to your liking. Uh, Auto voice over IP, basically it detects if you're using Skype and it sets up that pretty nicely. STP, for those of you in the Cisco, you, you probably know this as Spang, Spang Tree Protocol. And um, there, there's, I'm sure, and Basically, it's just um, a protocol that's used in switches that helps them uh, be more uh, efficient in managing the frames in the switch. And And by the way, this switch, you do, there's no command line. It's all GUI. Multicast, you have that. IGPMP snooping. What else? Um, I mean, address table. It gives you. Which the different MAC addresses that, that are being learned by the switch. QS, which is one of my favorites, um, the, basically, if you set up any type of modern home router, this basically it's like a traffic cop that makes sure that. Mm, that when you're on the internet, especially, everybody's getting equal amounts of bandwidth. We ha and then you have this first. I don't know what I don't know what this is. Here, you know, processing packets by criteria. Security, uh, you can set it up to switch to use radius with a Windows server. In authentication list, if you want to have like a like an access list per se, like an ACL. Monitoring if you the force detect system. Tells me how much data has been transferred since the switch has been turned on. I like this switch a lot. It's very detailed. You can do a lot with it. Makes nice if you if you want to set up factory factory shot, the control shooting, ping, and that's about it, folks. Um, I hope you like this video. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great night.